Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as HFN News. Today is September the 3rd, 2020. This is going to be our updated price for Bitcoin. Now, if this is your first time watching our video, definitely want to make sure that I tell you, if you appreciate our content, if you guys see how easy it is to forecast price movement, hit the like button. You want to share the video, then join us and subscribe to this channel because you're not going to get the simplistic form of understanding where the trap is trying to move the market no what no other indication no better place to go than here so make sure you guys continue to do that support us uh in that particular way also you can join us on our other social media platforms instagram twitter facebook uh, our own website you know we are at a plethora of locations to make sure that we are delivering content to you that is beneficial all right now this video we're going to talk about the latest price move in bitcoin uh, because it may have caught a lot of people off guard, but in our particular situation, it did not. Because the last video that we did for Bitcoin was on the 31st of August. So it was three days ago. And I wanted to show you the performance of Bitcoin since that day. So let's zoom in and look at it real quick. So we did the video on August the 31st. And you can tell that we kept our forecast the same from when we first initialized it on the 28th so it took us four days in order for the market and bitcoin to tag out at our ultimate tp area which was around twelve thousand dollars we told you that on the video on the 31st that that area is where the market trap was going to place or he's going to encounter some weakness i.e. push the market lower and it occurred on the first of the month september so 4.59 percent backed easily forecast all the way from the 28th and let's just say recertified on the 31st so hopefully we're able to actually see that play out because now it is done it is over and we're going to get rid of that and you guys can see that yesterday's market action in Bitcoin has still confirmed the legitimacy of the restriction area at $12,000 for Bitcoin. Now, keep this in your mind. Going forward, that area, $12,000, is going to have to take the trap and an increase in volume in order to break above it. Okay? Now, Seemingly, what look like the trap is doing right now, he's just consolidating the market. That's what the market is doing. Okay, so we're hitting consolidation on trading right now in this space. And you guys can even tell that we're hitting some areas of support into the market in Bitcoin, right? So, need to be on guard. We need to continue to see some strength coming to the market right now around $11,200. Now, with the volume that came into the market yesterday and the way that we're looking today so far, that $11,200 does not look to hold for support in the market for Bitcoin. It just doesn't look like it right now. So let's get rid of that. So the next logical area is going to have to be around 11000 Okay. Quick look at Bitcoin on the weekly. So you can see here. Now on a weekly time frame, we was feeling pretty good that the trap was actually able to hold price in Bitcoin right there around $11,000 as support. I mean, we've been going through this whole process over the last six weeks now. It's been six weeks the market in Bitcoin has been trading in this range. And we're starting off this week not looking so good. I mean, we got three more days and 13 hours before the market actually ends. But... If we conclude with Bitcoin closing on the low, the weakness in Bitcoin is going to continue all the way back down to around 10,500 for long term. Now, that's deeper and further down the line, but realize that it's something that we are encountering and forecasting from a long term basis. We are seeing that being formulated right now. Okay. 
And this is just go this just goes into what occurred on a monthly time frame. From the weakness that came in from the month of August, it is still spilling over for the month of September. So we need to see how low this market in Bitcoin is going to go in the long term. Because right now, I'll be the first to tell you that the trap is feeling weak in Bitcoin at this particular moment from a weekly to a monthly perspective. So we got to keep our eyes open on $10,500 and $11,000 in the long term. We'll need to see indications of market strength come into market at those two price levels. Because if not, the market in Bitcoin is going to continue to go lower in price. It's just that simple. So let's take a look at Bitcoin real quick on the hourly time frame. And you guys can see right here, even on the four hour chart, I mean, the market is definitely emphasizing that there's still some weakness in play in Bitcoin. I mean, even on this current four hour bar right here, the market is literally it has encompassed the range of the price action over the last five four hour price bars and we're still closing towards the low end of the bar so that tells you it tells me that the market in bitcoin is still hinting at some lower price movement it is so like i told you we need to keep our eyes open on this eleven thousand dollar price level all the way back down to ten thousand eight hundred on a shorter time frame So what we're going to do in the market for Bitcoin, we're going to continue to play some weakness in this coin, uh, not a lot, because from our perspective, we have to focus on $11,000, preferably right there around 11200 like I said earlier. Let's do this forecast into the market in Bitcoin real quick. Okay. Now, just to give you all another heads up, if the market in Bitcoin does not close above this $11,400 level, we will continue to go lower and break $11,200, 11000 to the downside. Okay. So the market in Bitcoin is going to continue to show weakness until we see a break above 11600 Now, again, I will have... I would like to see the market in Bitcoin when it breaks, you know, price above 11,400, 11,006, that it occurs on high volume. But if it doesn't, then that lets you know that is not a real move. And, you know, the agreement of the trap is definitely not in play. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to continue to play the weakness into the market in Bitcoin, uh, mostly due to what we're noticing on the weekly and the monthly time frame and how the overall trend is hinting that we still have some movement to the downside to go. We're going to TP the market in the Bitcoin though at 11,200 and then $11,000 ultimately. But don't get it twisted because the weekly time frame is definitely showing a possible bigger movement to the downside. And we're talking about all the way back down to like $10,400. So just keep that in mind as we see this market trade continually on a 24-hour basis okay so you guys got questions comments let us know and again what's your prediction give us your forecast give us your price direction and where you think bitcoin is going to go and then your tp price as always make sure you maintain a profitability and i'll talk to you all on the next one